Diana Denmark here. Ra, ra, ra. I hope you are ready for some really cozy seasonal living. Santa on the fireman's ladder, switching on the Christmas lights. We'll be talking about the 5k that we're doing daily in December. I was in the city on Friday for Green Friday, not Black Friday. And also a little chat about Christmas books and a whole lot of other who get Danish stuff. But of course, we'd better start with a little reminder. If you are doing the Fly Lady system along with me, make sure, especially right now, when things are really, really busy and you're running backwards and forwards to all different events, you've got a lot going on at work, maybe things are, are stressful for you, keep going, keep, still keep going with those daily routines, your morning routine, your evening routine. And vis-a-vis -vis the house, we are in Fly Lady Zone 5 this week, 5 and 1, where it's a crossover week, you know, because we're going from one month to the next. I, the, the only thing that I do at this time of the year is make sure that I keep going with my weekly uh, upkeep clean, you know, the, the power hour. I'm very consistent with my zone cleaning the rest of the year, and in the month of December, I don't do any zone cleaning. Now, of course, if there's something really, really bad that needs done, of course I'm going to do it but I, I just put the, the zone cleaning on the back burner, so you might want to consider that. And then on to a very joyful weekend I had here in Copenhagen. Started off on Friday afternoon, I met my friend Erica from America, and we did Green Friday here in Copenhagen. Now, Green Friday is the opposite of Black Friday. Our local council had uh, a few Green Friday initiatives going on, and one of them was they had uh, put up a big tent and in, in that tent, they had brought lots of items from our recycling centres, items that still had life left in them and that, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to reuse things. Instead of always buying new, maybe you can swap like we do our swap parties or maybe you can pick up something from your recycling centre. And we were queuing to get in. There was a really long queue to get in and you could take anything you wanted and we saw people leaving with huge frames and standard lamps and kids toys cleaning supplies you you name it it was there and you could take anything you wanted and as you left the tent they weighed all the items so we could see how much how many kilos worth was actually recycled and erica she scored some really great items <laughs> today's star Wait. item <laughs> you're grinding, we're always grinding. And I should show us what you got because those that's a fabulous. I found it for all the champagne we're going to be drinking and the surprise <laughs> du chef with a little ducky. Hi, ducky. So cute. It is great. And this is great too. I love right, it. Right, okay. Don't, don't put it down because somebody will snatch it out of your hands. We walked along the banks of the lakes here in Copenhagen. If you've ever been in Copenhagen, you know we've got four. Uh, big lakes right, right in the centre. And then we went to another swap and then after that we walked through town and we had some glugs. We we're feeling very festive by the end of it and we hadn't spent any money buying things. On to Saturday morning and my Saturday mornings, as many of you know, those are spent with the blue tits, the blue tits chill swimmers and it's getting really cold now. We're, we're down to water temperature is 5 degrees Celsius if I remember rightly, is 41F. And it wasn't too breezy on Saturday, but we always warm up afterwards with some hot tea and a nice selection of cakes or chocolates. I had baked rolls and Erica brought some Buckeyes from Ohio, from her, from her uh, hometown in, in Cleveland. Saturday was spent decorating a bit in the house because the kids, our kids came around here on Sunday for the first Advent Sunday and we have a little tradition in our house that my husband bakes egg with a skewer. Now, I've got a video of how to make them. Use this special pan to make them. And this year he started off the egg with a skewer and my daughter baked the rest of them. We eat one portion fresh and then a couple of other portions or three other portions, we freeze them. They freeze really well. And for Advent Sunday dinner, I made one of my old favourites and also it's my son's favourite, so, so that's why I made it. Swedish summer house stew, which is pork and a really creamy sauce with lingonberries. Uh, and I put in some fresh lingonberries and it was just, it was, it was really, really good. And also I had made some of my chocolate fudge 
I've got a recipe for that. I've got a YouTube video that goes along with it. And this time I made cranberry fudge and the other one was pistachio and sea salt. And I'll probably be making another portion because that goes down really well. And I'll be taking it on to blue tits another time, I'm sure, for a, for a post-swim snack. Also on Sunday, I went down to our local town hall where the tradition is that Santa turns up. Then he goes up the fireman's ladder and with a fireman behind him for protection and then he switches on the lights. And it, it's just such a, a lovely event where everybody's singing and they dance around the Christmas tree. So that's just really put me, put me into the, the spirit of the season. Right, and then moving on to this year's 5K Daily Dash, the December Daily Dash. Now, as you may remember, I did this last year and it's a thing that we do for, for charity and we run or walk, it doesn't need to be running, you run or walk 5K every day. And look at the hats that we've got this year. Aren't they fantastic? They're absolutely fabulous. I, I, wore, I wore mine when I was out running at the weekend and this little uh, girl was walking along the road with her dad and she shouted, oh, flat who? She said, uh, which means nice hat. So I'm, I'm really pleased with it. And this is really good because when you're out there in the morning or late afternoon, it is pitch black here. Be safe, be seen, so make sure when you're wearing your running gear or just when you're out walking that you've got some reflectors on. If you, if you want to join in with us, there, just do what you can. The, the idea behind it is to get outside, get some fresh air, and it really is a mood lifter for me because it is so dark here in Denmark in the month of December. It isn't light until about nine o'clock in the morning and we have some really, really dark grey days and it's already getting dark again at three o'clock in the afternoon. And, and being outside every day, especially with my winter bathing, that really is such a mood lifter for me. And, you know, it's just on an honour basis. You don't need to check in with anybody. There's no 5K daily dash police coming, <laughs> coming to check you. I like to run first thing in the morning. I quite often do it before breakfast. And I'll run two and a half, three K, maybe a bit more. And then I'll make it up the rest of the day by walking. And I can meet a friend for a walk. I can do a quick walk around the block after dinner. And, and it's just, a, and as I said, it's, it's a real mood lifter. So if you're finding it difficult in the winter, it's very dark. No excuses, just get out there every day. So uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing that this year and especially wearing this hat. And what about books? Has anybody started their seasonal reading? I love to read cosy crimes, especially winter ones at this time of year. And if it's uh, Christmas involved, even better. I went to the library uh, last week to have a little look and they always have such a fabulous selection in our Danish libraries seasonal cookbooks and we have how-to books on how to make decorations, recycled decorations, classic Christmas stories, lots of crochet and knitting books for Christmas. And I always like to say hi to Batman when, when I'm in the library and I notice they haven't done it yet but usually the librarians they give Batman some baubles, they hang some Christmas baubles on him. I picked up a few, I, I usually like to get the decorating books. It just gives me ideas of things that I can do. And usually in Denmark, we like to bring the outside inside. That's all part of the Danish Huga. Many of the decorations are using pine cones or flowers or nuts, conkers, chestnuts, all the things that you can find outside in nature. So I'm looking forward to sitting in my cozy chair and reading these. And this one's all about little Danish sweets confect, a bit like the fudge that, that you saw I have made. And of course we have some of our own ones. I took these out of the Christmas box and I always leave them on top of the piano at Christmas time. I got this one, I picked it up second hand and it's a collection of Christmas stories and it even includes 
a Jeeves one, which I've read many times, but I, I will read it again. Jeeves and the Yuletide Spirit, a, a PG Woodhouse. You know, I love PG Woodhouse. But I just thought it was a nice uh, collection. You can see there are some of the things that are in it. And they're all very short, so it, it's really a nice thing that I can do when I'm having my lunch break or before I go to bed at night, just to read a, a short chapter. And some of the other ones that I read regularly, usually every year, if not every second year, is the Agatha Christie one, the Hercule Poirot's Christmas. There's a mystery of the, the plum pudding. Let me just check my list here. I've read uh, Simon Brett, The Shooting in the Shop. That's a Christmas themed one. Rhys Bowen, she has a couple of ones. The Twelve Clues of Christmas, I enjoyed that one. Uh, Alan Bradley had one. I am half sick of shadows. That's a, a Christmas themed one. And of course, Rumpel at Christmas. I love uh, Rumpel stories by John Mortimer. And some audiobooks that I've enjoyed listening to. The Twelve Sleighs of Christmas by Jacqueline Frost. I don't know if that's a pen name. It kind of goes really well. Uh, and also her uh, Twas the Knife Before Christmas. Obviously, again, Cozy Crimes. Agatha Christie, Midwinter Murder, Farside Tales from the Queen of Mystery. I really enjoyed those. These are, it was a really good narrator who did those. So those are the ones that I kind of go back to again and again. Maybe you've got one that you like to read, let me know. Have you got some kind of Mary Berry cookbook that you use every year? I used to use the Delia Smith one. Let's have all your suggestions so we can really get into the spirit. Because the, the seasonal reading, I find that's a really, really great fast hook away to, to get yourself into the spirit of things. That, of course, and some Christmas music and you're good to go. If you are following me on Facebook and Instagram, coming up this week, you will see lots of tableau here in the kitchen because you know I love to have my candles out. The Ebel Skewer Pan, I don't put that away. I like to have it displayed here in the kitchen and I usually put in some Christmas decorations. And those of you who have got coaching appointments this week, I'm looking forward to seeing you there or maybe in our group session tomorrow. And next time I catch up with you, I will be going through the Fly Lady missions, the final missions to get ready for Christmas if you're preparing for Christmas. Remember, you can use these missions for anything that you're celebrating. Maybe Maybe you're watching these videos and you are coming up for Hanukkah, you're coming up for Ramadan, you are planning a wedding anniversary. You can use these missions for that. So I will see you next time. And all I've got left to say is live long and prosper. May the Danish full on hygge be with you. Keep going with your self care. And I'll see you very soon with a little bit of sparkle and a rap, rap, rap. Okay, bye for now.